Liam Payne, former One Direction, now solo guy. His new single's called Bedroom Floor. Check it out and lie down on your bedroom floor and listen to it. Or you could listen to it in any other situation. Anyway, here's Payne. Hello there. Oh, it's you. It's Liam. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, great. Bedroom floor um, sounds very saucy, Liam. And please don't let the entire parental community down by telling us that you're getting action when the baby's not even six months old. <laughs> I can't, I can't answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Hey, going on uh, mute on the video hit, when the video hit drops, uh, or the video clip drops, I want to know, and I ask all the uh, famous musicians, how many goes did it take? Because <laughs> I, I'm, I'm fascinated. Did it take you 100 goes? You're a, are you a one-hit wonder, Liam? With the music video? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, they do a lot of different takes. I think people always try to cover themselves. So you do so many different takes in so many different environments. It's so funny to see it cut down to a clip of three minutes, 30 something, when you've spent like the whole day from, and you know, they do nighttime shots of different bits as well. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, you do so many different shots uh, throughout the day and it's just funny to see what, what hits the cutting room floor uh, in the end. Um, full disclosure, Brownie here, who you've just been talking to, uh Niall has has been over to his place having beers. They're actually quite good friends. Is, oh, uh, fantastic! Yes, is He's a good man. Is this trouble? Is this trouble, Niall and and our friend Brownie? Uh, it sure could be. <laughs> I mean, uh, Niall Niall's a fairly chill guy on a night out. Though. I've never seen Niall go like completely wild. I've seen Harry go a bit wild once. I think I've seen Louis go a bit wild. I've, I've definitely seen Zane go wild. <laughs> uh, and myself, but I've, Niall's quite chill when it comes to nights out. Yeah, he's pretty good. But you're, you're the mature one, though, weren't you? You're the one that pulled all the boys uh, in the water. Well, apparently so. Somehow, somehow <laughs> I, I, uh, I took that name on, but I'm not, I'm not so sure myself. You do sound oh, that way. Do you ever wonder, like, because how old were you when the whole One Direction thing took off? I was 16 when we first started. So really, mm. like, you, you will never have a normal life, an ordinary life. Well, I mean, what's what is an ordinary life? To flip the question. Well, a, oh, you know, a, a person walking that, down the street, not getting recognised. Yeah, and, and a person that you know hasn't uh, no, hasn't so been a global a global superstar. Um, yeah, well, I think it depends where you are. You can go, you can go normally down the street. Sometimes it's you know, I do go out and about a lot more than I used to now. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's it's it's, it's fairly. It seems normal to me. Yeah, hey, uh, first I first saw you, uh, Liam, in action at. Suncorp Stadium, which is the big stadium in Brisbane, and uh, uh-huh. I was out having a beer with uh, with Niall, and you came into the dressing rooms, and at that stage, mate, oh, I wasn't really a cross teenage um, or, or, or a, a superstar boy band, uh, so you walked into the change rooms, and I brought a couple of my wife's girlfriends along, and uh, she nearly... Uh, it's fair to say she nearly she nearly uh, jumped straight over the top of you, mate, and uh, <laughs> collapsed you in the in the rooms. So it was a very exciting, uh, a very exciting scene for her, and she never smoked in her life. And uh, when Noel said, "I'm going to slip into the toilets and just have a quick gasper," she couldn't get in their bloody cubicles <laughs> quick enough to have a gasper. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny! Oh my, That's a lot. Yeah, it was very good. It was very good. Hey, uh, it was good. I'm, glad, well, I'm glad you had a good time. What did you think of the concert? Oh, yeah, I loved it. I loved it. It was fantastic. I was amongst uh, about yeah. 40,000 screaming teenage <laughs> girls. Know. Can we talk about chicken fries? Chicken fr- Somehow I bought them back. How did you do this? What, what? Um, so- with the magical chicken fries. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know. I think I tweeted about them once, but I, I can honestly say I don't, I don't really know anything about chicken. I've never really even eaten chicken fries. So oh, I don't know how I had them. I don't know. So fake, you know fake news. Is it fake news, Liam? <laughs> I need to. I need to bring. I need to. I need to bring back the McRib. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, what is your order? What's your order at Macca's? What's your standard order? Um, twenty. Chi- I love nuggets. Yeah. Twenty chicken nuggets, always large fries, Just large Coke. That's me. Twenty. I, I love. I, do you, the funny thing is that I've been now that I've been around the world. That, McDonald's tastes so different in so many different places. Is that right? Does it? Because the, the, the McDonald's was famous for saying that you can, you know, get a burger anywhere or a nugget in your case and it would taste the same, but you disagree. 
Well, no, because obviously we have all the food regulations over here in the UK, so our nuggets are all healthy and stuff, whereas if you go to America, there's not really much regulation going on over there. So they leave all the... Um, the, the tasty bit. <laughs> <laughs> You're all right, Liam. The new single Bedroom Floor is available to stream and download now. Liam Payne, come back. Thank you very much, guys. We are pumped up because I just get so excited when Tommy, our producer, tells us that we're getting this man on. It is the beautiful. Liam Payne, how are you, buddy? Hey, good morning, guys. Or good morning or late night. Good, oh, well, good morning for us. Know. Probably late night for you. What time? Where and what time is it for you? It's quite, it's quite early at the moment. Oh, where, where are you currently? But, I mean, four Liam? o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock in the morning is either a good morning or it's quite a late <laughs> night. <you know? laughs> well, I mean, in terms of your schedule at the moment, um, Liam, are you up doing the midnight feed? I mean, is you and Cheryl sharing the load? Is spare on the bottle? How does it work at home? Do you know what? I, I, I hate to make parents jealous, but he sleeps the whole way through the night. No, he's he just doesn't. gone to bed now and he won't wake up till seven o'clock tomorrow. So you're kidding me. What seven to seven? No, he's like he's like a super child. He's like a small little miracle oh, baby. No way. Everybody right now hates you. That Liam. is not fair. <laughs> uh, if I he's... make good songs and I make good babies. Yeah. That's what I'm into. That's what the title he... of my book. What do I do? <laughs> Music and babies. But I mean, he must be what nine, ten months old now. Has he thrown out a dadder yet? Yes, he's starting to throw out a dadder. He's seven right. months old, um, and he just he did that thing where you know where they like part their bum up in the air like they're about to crawl, but he just doesn't get it yet. His face yeah, is still sure. on the floor, <laughs> and he's like, "Oh man, I want to move, but I don't know where I'm supposed to go, and I don't know why I'm going." I want to go somewhere. That's funny. I got all the parts. I just got to make them work together. Yeah, I know. That. What do these things do? These limbs of mine. It's so funny. Mate, we, we need you yeah. back out here in Australia again. We just had a good mate of yours. We just had an aisle. Actually, he left a message for yes. you, Liam. He said you guys were going to catch up this week. Is that correct? Yes, I'm going to try and catch up with him at some point. I would, I, I, you know, I'm spreading the word out there at the moment, though, because I think it's very important that we look at the legalities of these things. <laughs> and I'm not sure whether he's been there more than 90 days. So, you know, we need to get border control yeah. on the line yeah, because this is that true. guy's been in that country for far too long. Well, you got to yeah. check to see if he's got his visa, but this is the message that he had to leave for you. Hello, Pano. It's Niall here. I just wanted to say hello. You want to watch out with these two, Pitsy and Whippa. They're dangerous, as you know. If you have any problems, give me a shout. I've got their numbers. I'll have a chat with them afterwards. Pano. <laughs> Pano. Look at that. He's got my back. He has my back. He loves you, buddy. He really does. He's not going to let you fall. Bless him. I know. I mean, I was just saying, you know, Niall's such a friendly, friendly, friendly bloke. He could, he genuinely could make friends with the nearest tree. Yeah, I think he's could. that friendly. He um, he's awesome. So, you know, God, God bless him. If he brings, if he releases a song about a tree, we mm-hmm. know that you, kn- you, you knew <laughs> something about a relationship that he's had with the tree now. I mean, you know, maybe he's a tree hugger. Maybe that's what he's <laughs> he into. could be. Well, Emma's asked on Twitter uh, as we're chatting here, Liam, uh, who was the last one D member that you caught up with in person? Um, it was Mr. Harry Styles in the Bowery, um, and it was really, really nice. Bless him. Obviously, he'd been through a lot this year with yeah, yeah. ups and downs. You know, obviously he had his release and then a couple of things that, you know, in his family life, um, you know, uh, and it was re- he just seemed genuinely just incredibly happy to see me. It was like touching home base almost. And we didn't really speak about work. We spoke about work for all of five seconds. Yeah, you know? sure. And he just had a major film out. You know, I just had my song out, which was doing great. And we didn't really speak about any of that That's nonsense. Good. It was more focused on the fact of just so good to see you, man. Like, we didn't even really speak about anything. It was just, like, looking at Easter and just, like, smiling, like, I'm so, I'm so happy to see you. Right. You know, it was crazy. Um, I think, you know, that we'll, we'll always be very, very firm friends between between the four the four of us. You know, we shared an experience that, you know, only us four know. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, you know, and we grew, up t- we grew up together. We were genuinely like brothers, you know, uh, throughout our teenage years. So it's very interesting. But, yeah, it was really lovely to see him. Uh, and I'm hoping to catch up with the rest of the guys. As soon, I'm going to bump into a few of them, I think, on these American radio tours. Yeah, sure, um, sure. So hopefully, hopefully we get a little reunion, one day reunion going on. No, oh, well, mate, we're, we're, we're love loving it. your work. We're loving your uh, solo work as well. The new single, Bedroom Thank Floor, you. available to download and stream. Now, Liam Payne, always a pleasure, mate. Can't wait to have you back in Australia. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you guys very, very soon. And thank you for waking up for me. I really appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Liam. Thanks, See you, buddy. Liam. See you, buddy. See you, Pino. The, chop, the top of the physical album chart, the national album chart, is Mr. Niall Horan with his debut album, Flickr. There are bigger territories he will hunt in the world, but I don't think there's anything more special than having a number one 
in your home country and Niall just sent through this message only about five minutes ago Hello Ireland it's Niall here I just want to say a massive thank you for making my album number one uh, to go number one in the homeland in the Emerald Isle is a great feeling for me and I really appreciate all the support from home uh, as I travel the world um, lots of love and since it's a, a band called The Weekend, let's play um, my song off the new album uh, On My Own it's one to make you want to go for pints so let's get it going thanks very much <laughs> 